Good morning from Porcupine Campground. Breakfast time. Let's do this. All right, all packed up and ready to go. So we are headed to Healy Creek, which is about 21 kilometers and a thousand or so meters up. And it's gonna be a great day in, well, Mount Assiniboine and then eventually Bath National Park. And look at this thistle, it's huge. All right, we hit the junction, uh, just over a kilometer and just over 200 meters of elevation. It was a, a bit of a climb from Porcupine. And three more kilometers to Citadel Pass, which is a very pretty place. I'll let you see what it looks like. Got some grizzly bear diggings beside the trail here, on the way up Citadel. Still pretty smoky. Into the sun. And the flowers. So we're up over the hump and to the center, that low spot there, so it'll pass. There's a nice little water source if we needed it, but we don't. So uh, yeah, we're gonna head, uh, the trail wraps around this bowl and then heads to Citadel Pass through all these flowers. and we're just climbing up the hill a bit to get a nice view on all sides. Fatigue Pass is that way. And uh, yeah, almost in Bam. Right, so we are at the park boundary. We're gonna find a nice place to have a snack. There's Citadel Peak there. And then that way is towards Sunshine Meadows into Banff. Uh, but yeah, first a snack before we head down the meadows. Soon.
our Douglas Lake. We are gonna have coffee. So here is Howard Douglas Lake in Banff National Park. There's a campground, it is behind me. We are just going to sit in this lovely spot by this log and make ourselves some coffee and have lunch. All right, Howard Douglas Lake, pretty shallow. Back on trail. We had our coffee, we were fed, the flies were fed, they were horrible. And now we're going to do the grunt up Quartz Hill. down from up there. It'd be super cool to ridge walk that, but it's closed. That's okay. Some nice flowers. walking through Sunshine Meadows and there is nobody but us, which is wild. This place is usually crawling with people. Not allowed on this rock, evidently. Or allowed on this rock, but no further. There we go. So like five hours into the day and I notice that, which I heard chewing on my poles last night at, of course, Porcupine Campsite. And I was pretty sure it was a porcupine and I think it was, but that's okay. I'm trying to find an optimal snack spot. Heading down to, this is called Rocka Lake, to sit on the lake shore and have a snack. So this is as <coughs> close to the lake you can get because evidently they're trying to 
rehabilitate it, but that's okay. There's a nice bench in the shade that we utilized for snack time. All right, mischief managed, back on the trail. Enjoying the, the sit-ish lookout? Yes. Are you ready for the standish lookout? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know I'm funny. So there's the standish deck that we're headed to. And then after that, Simpson Pass. And then after that, Healy Creek. So we are at Simpson Pass. Here's the border monument. And we're not quite done our hike yet, uh, but we're back in Berta, I guess. And yeah, we still have a couple kilometers to Healy Creek all that way. To Healy Pass. Campground, or Healy Creek, Healy Creek campground. So really hoping this isn't Healy Creek, cause that's dry. Okay.